they wouldn't let me wrestle on the boys team because my birth certificate said female on it, even though that I'm not a girl. I look different. I don't look like any of the girls that I had to wrestle. I have had matches turned down in my face. People walking by me during a match saying they don't want to wrestle me because I am different. When I first started wrestling was when I first started physically transitioning and it was a hard struggle with home and school and bullying. What I like about wrestling is it was a way for me to get some of my anger out. No matter where my testosterone levels were, I never had an unfair advantage against any of the girls I had to wrestle. Competing on the men's team would have made me feel like I wasn't in a box and that I was where I was supposed to be with the guys. I don't want kids to go through the same struggles that I went through just to play sports. It's really well documented that there's an increase in depression, anxiety, and suicidality just when this type of rhetoric that is promoted by these types of bills, like the sports ban bill, is just in the air. Are you aware? that our trans kids are more likely to suffer from depression, anxiety, and commit suicide than their peers. Any child that faces depression, angst, or anxiety to a point of suicide is a loss for us all. So I'm not gonna debate whether that's a bad thing or not because we all acknowledge that it is. All this bill does is says you can continue to play in competitive athletes under your biological sex. Now, the good news about this, if there's any, is that trans youth and trans people, they, they know who they are and they assert their existence over and over and over again. A trans student should be able to play just like anybody else. What, how are we different from other kids? We are the same, we want the same thing. Sports are a main part of being a kid. You learn a lot of life lessons from sports. Trans kids shouldn't just be singled out.